But like, there have been times where I was at Brea and I know, like, I know what I should be ending at. Like, I know what joke I should be on at around the 13 minute mark. So yeah, we were doing 15 minutes. So no, it's 12 minutes. So I knew what joke I should have been on right, right at the 10 minute mark. And I was at my four minute mark joke. And I'm like, holy Lord, because you're not stepping over your laughs and the laughs because you got it like that's an art to it as well as like you don't want to talk when the audience is laughing or doing anything. So you wait, you know, you let you never step on your laughs. You just let it go and you just let it breathe. And then you come in with the next thing. And you come up with the next thing. I actually I actually told that to Roger Goodell one time at the oh. uh, draft, the first draft in Chicago. As I, he was sitting there and I just had a chance. I was like, Oh my God, I'm just sitting here and Roger and like something about the booze. And I said, Hey, I go, um, I go, you shouldn't try to talk over the booze. He's like, what do you, I go, no, I go like heat is heat. Like you still want to be like, you still want a response. It's a passionate, it's a passion for the sport. So like, let them boo, like don't yeah. try to talk over cause it's going to make it worse. So just be like, yeah. So then like, he goes out there like the next time he's like, all right, I'll wait. I'm like, yeah, Roger. And so, uh, so yeah, so I, but specifically, like, I do remember the times where it was going so well. You're like, I did about six minutes of my act in this 12 minute set. And it was wonderful because, uh, they were having, it was tough because like, I have a big ender and it's like, oh, how do I fast forward to the ending? Actually, I think I told them, I think I went through this whole thing. Like, you know what? You guys have been so great. Oh, you know, no, no, that's not true. I knew that I had another good joke coming up. So I kind of fast forwarded to the like one it was actually a dig at the Raiders. So I actually fast forwarded to that. I actually shorted myself by about 45 seconds because mm-hmm. the laugh I knew was going to be so big. And then I just hit it big laugh. All right, that's it. That's my time. And then I bailed. That's good. I would have, I would have continued because I like attention, but wait, so you're the reason Goodell kind of pauses during the booze now. Cause did you notice like a, a oh, pattern? He switched. He 100%. Spoke? Yeah. He, he don't, he totally embraces it now. I'm like, you got it. I go, you're, you're the villain to these people. So you got to go out there and just wear it. Like, just take it. Who cares? They're here. They're here. Like the worst thing would be nobody being here. Yeah. Imagine having the NFL draft and nobody being here. Or would you rather get booed by 50,000 people? Like, just take the booze. It's what sports fans do. Totally. It's like a rite of passage now. Like it's weird if people aren't booing Roger Goodell. 100%. It's the best part of the draft, to be honest. Oh my um, god, I love the opening. Although the last couple of years he started to revert. Like I gotta, I gotta get it in his ear. I'll see him at the Super Bowl this week. Be like, bro, you gotta let the booze, booze rain out, especially when he goes to Green Bay this year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's the, the best part. I absolutely love that part. 